Mga kapuso, nandito pa rin kami sa Phil Oil Eco Oil Center sa lungsod ng San Juan for another edition of your favorite sports and entertainment. And my name is Anton Ross. With me, of course, a man who has been working so hard. He covered the first game with our brother Martin Javier, mm -hmm. Coach Hammer Martin Antonio. What a day and what a first week of NCAA Volleyball. Well, definitely, ang ganda ng action natin for today. Of course, in the first game, CSB took care of business early. Nagmamadali, parang may lakad na yung linggo. Etong Lady Blazers, they took care of business 3-0. to zero. And then the Sun Beda, Lady Spikers, Ooh. finally getting their first win in three tries in the coach Edgar Baroga era at the expense of the San Sebastian Lady Stats. I was wondering kung sino sa mga analysts yung uh, magiging rason kung bakit tayo magkaka fifth set. So we welcome Mika yep. Reyes. It's been a long time coming. Siya na lang yung uh, huling analyst who's a really prominent name who hasn't ventured into this trade. So Mika Reyes being welcomed with a five set match. First five set match ng NCAA Season 99. And we're not complaining because we love what San Sebastian and San Bella showed today. Ganda nga nang inilaro ng San Sebastian. Pero parang silang naging diesel noon. Mamaya hihimahimahin natin yan. Yeah. Pero they were able to get their bearings in the third and the fourth set. Kaya lang kinapos sa dulo. And Angel Habakon, OMG. Ang ganda nang inilaro niya. And uh, Lady Red Spiker, she really earning that victory. When Martin Antonio says <laughs> OMG, that's how you know how important what happened happened was. All right. Because a lot has happened, let's review it for a week. Vito sa ating week in review. Mga kapuso, let's take a quick look back at the early goings of our brand new NCAA volleyball tournament here in the first edition of our Week in Review. On opening day last Sunday, the Benilde Lady Blazers began their quest for a three-peat on a high note as they dominated EAC 25-15, 25-14, 25-23. Graduating middle blocker Mitch Gamet led the way for the Taft Avenue-based squad with 10 markers. In the match that followed, Perpetual flexed their muscles against JRU, winning 25-14, 25-14, 25 Reigning league MVP Mary Rose Dapol top scored for the Lady Altas with 16 points. On Tuesday, Mapua outclassed San Sebastian with a 25-20, 25-23, 25-18 victory. Sophomore Super Roxy De La Cruz exploded for 18 points to lead the Lady Cardinals. After that, LPU needed four sets to dispatch San Beda 25-17, 13-25, 25-15, 25-21. Joan Duguna was the player of the match as she finished with a team-high 17 points. Nung Miyerkules naman, winalis ng JRU ang EAC 25-20, 25-20, Pinangunahan ni Kyla Hasareno ang atake ng Lady Bombers sa kanyang labing tatlong puntos. Pagkatapos nun, matagumpay ang naging pagbabalik ni Coach Oliver Almadro sa NCAA sa pagkapanalo ng letran laban sa Arellano, 16-25, 25-17, 25 Si Coach O ay alumnos ng letran at naging player pati na rin assistant coach ng kanyang yumaong mentor na si Nes Pamilar. And that, mga kapuso, were the results of the first three match days of NCAA Season 99. Keep it right here on GTV for more volleyball updates and highlights of our new heroes of the game. So my question to you, Coach Hammer, <laughs> is among the matches that we did a recap on, what was your favorite? Kasama ba yung five-setter natin ngayon? Kasi for me, that was uh, one of the more exciting games this season. Not because San Beda won, but yeah. again, San Beda was leading by two sets. Eh. Okay. And then San Sebastian finally got their groove. Mm -hmm. Dere Derecho, Kat Santos really putting on a show. Angel Habakon sa kabila. Clayne Abraham also stepping uh -huh. up. Maraming mga bagong pangalan, new heroes. Na natin. But that was one of my favorite games. Ha? Dahil back and forth yung laro. What about player? Which player to oh you caught your attention and you were like, wow, this player has potential? Well, actually, nagpakita na to last year, Joe Daguno was yes. very impressive okay. for me in their past two wins. Talagang uh, siya yung uh, nag-step up yung laro dahil mas malaking responsibility niya. And meron din sa St. Benilder game, earlier but Sham is next in line eh, to oh. being that dominant uh -huh. and imposing middle blocker because we know that this is the last year of Mitch Gamit 
And, you know, Mitch Gamet, we've talked about her character development. And speaking of her, dahil maganda ang pinapakita niya, siya po ang ating kauna-unahang Power Player of the Week for the year 2024. The era of new heroes continues in Season 99. And this time, it's her story that will unfold as the volleyball tournament has officially taken off. Easier said than done though. Last April 7, the much-awaited opening ceremony took place with an exciting lineup of matches. Lute. That's a cross-court hit. But perhaps the most anticipated storyline in this chapter of the NCAA features the reigning queens of the league, the Benilde Lady Blazers. The defending back-to-back -back champions began their quest for a three-peat with an intact core led by setter Cloan Mondoniedo, along with high flyers Gail Pascual her presence felt here. and Jade Hentapa. Season 97 MVP Micah Go finally made her return to the court as well. However, among Coach Jerry Yee's collection of stars, it was Mitch Gamit who shined the brightest. But what a hit from Gamit! Over the top! Gamit was a force to be reckoned with as she top scored for the Lady Blazers with 10 points. The graduating middle blocker led Benil to their 30th straight victory in the NCAA and more importantly, set the tone in their quest to become a dynasty. All hail to our first NCAA Power Player of the Week for the year 2024, Mitch Gamble. Congratulations muli sa ating kauna-unahang Power Player of the Week for the year 2024, Benilde's Mitch Gamit. And from one middle blocker to another, we have once again Mika Reyes with us here on Game On. At nalaman natin na one of the reasons why Angel Habakon scored 25 points today is because of the presence of one Mika Reyes. Sobrang na-inspire itong si Angel Kayarman. We have on the show here on Game One, Mika Reyes alongside Angel Habakon. Yes, hello again. Namiss niyo ba ako? 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 Yun na yun, tapos na yun. Okay, so sa totoo lang, first time ni Mika mag-analyst. So, nagkataon na San Beda, San Sebastian, yung kinover niyang game. So, I wanna ask, when you first saw na parang naglalaro ka sa court, nakita mo, Mika Reyes ba yun? Actually, ano ba? Paano ba? Actually po, hindi po, hindi ko po napansin yung mga pagsabi na, pagsabi na, interview na ako doon, sabi, si Mika Reyes po yung, ano, yung commentator. Sabi ko, ha? Huh? Oh. Like, oh, nakakaya ng, huh? ha? What? <laughs> what more kung alam mong si Mika yung commentator? Oh. <laughs> Your reaction, Mika, na siyempre, you know, matagal ka ng volleyball player and now you're inspiring the next generation, yan, yung mga batch ni Angel, na to, to play well and, you know, to continue the tradition of increasing the level of volleyball dito sa Pilipinas. Actually, uh, I'm very flattered, yes. <laughs> flattered ako na... Um, isa daw ako sa mga idol. Pero, syempre, I'm very proud na makita yung mga players natin ngayon. Sobrang tumataas na rin yung level of uh, paglalaro nila. And for sure, magiging maganda pa talaga yung mga laban sa upcoming games. Coach, what can you say about Angel? You know, you're nakababad ka sa San Beda, mm -hmm. sa gym. How, how is uh, Angel's discipline in the weights room? 99, 99 out of 100. But uh, alam mo nito kasi si Angel was playing very well in the off season. Eh, pagka nagkikita kami at pagka nagkakausap niya, ano ang like yung sinasabi sa kanya, eto na yun, yung season niya. Kasi matagal niyang inantay ito. And uh, alam mo Angel, you, you've, uh, you've done really well the past three games. Ano pa yung mga makikita namin adjustments mo? Kasi ngayon, meron na silang tape, panonorin ka nila, scouting ka nila. And pag gusto mong papuntang pro, parang si Ate Mika. So ano yung mga adjustments pa na tingin mo kailangan mong ang gawin? For me, po sa ngayon, I don't have ano pa. I don't have thoughts pa on going pro. Kasi ano, I feel like hindi pa po ako qualified don, so I need to to work hard more pa, and then to team team up with my teammates pa. Since nagjudgel pa po kami ngayon, so ang focus ko po ngayon is to to ano to to help my teammates, help my team to win another game, to win 
the next games pa na lalaroin namin. And um, I'm just there to remind them na i-enjoy lang lahat ng games kasi volleyball is a fun event so we need to enjoy and then have fun. Kanina napansin namin ni Mika yung suot-suot mo na necklace. Ay, yung yung, yung, yung necklace. Yung necklace. Yung puka shells. Puka shells. Diba uso yan yung panahon diba? natin. Pero yung high school no. tayo, yan no, yung uso. Na, so I'm, I'm happy na binabalik ni Angel. So Mika, ano masasabi mo sa fashion statement ni, ni Angel? Ba't <laughs> 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 mo ba't 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 mo Oh, so, kailangan lagi mo nang isuot. Ano ka ba? Angel bagi sa'yo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Tingin ko may, yun may yung lucky charm up, niya. Oh. Lucky Island Girl from Bislig City. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Wait, diba si Scotty Thompson yun din? Bislig City, Surigao del Sur? I think so. Dun, dun siya naglalaro ng mga... Ah, hindi, Digos pala. Digos, 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 si, Digos si, si Scotty Scott. Thompson. Oh, may kuwi tanong pa ako. Oh, uh, Angel. Angel. Si Payusing. Oh, si James. Okay, James okay, Payusing. Okay, okay, may, may question pa ako. Mika and the Angel pa yun doon sagutin. Gano'n ka-importante yung relationship? Sinabi nga ni Anton kanina sa coverage, yung setters. Kasi ikaw, marami kang setters na magagaling na pinagdaanan. Si Angel, converted na spiker to setter si Kat. Gano'n ka laking adjustment yung ginawa mo? Um, di naman. For, for the respect of Kat, uh, um, ano po, na appreciate ko yung effort, na appreciate ko yung improvement niya, na appreciate ko yung pagiging vocal and then leadership niya sa loob ng court. So for me, there's no really an adjustment. Like, kailangan lang po talaga namin mag-communicate and the connection is there po kasi kami po talaga yung parang close po talaga sa team. So there's no any adjustment na po kasi kung sasabihin niya, Joel, dun ka. So as a spiker dun talaga kasi syempre sila po yung diktador sa loob ng court. So parang wala lang po. Parang, yun lang po, parang pagkakaintindihan lang po. Yes, and personally, sabi ko nga rin kanina na yung setter din kasi talaga yung magkocontrol ng laro. So, syempre, kailangan mo rin siyang tulungan na bigyan mo rin siya ng kumpiyansa, na kapag sinetang ka na maganda o pangit man, susubukan mo talaga makakuha ng puntos. And malaking tulong yon para sa setter mo. Okay, so ngayon medyo ibubuking ko yung mga age natin kasi Wag! this is uh, three different generations. There's the Anton and Hammer generation. There's the Mika Reyes generation na pinover na natin. And now this is the next generation, yung Angel Habakon generation. Oh. Okay, Angel, how young were you when you first learned about Mika Reyes? How old were you when, how young when you were starting to watch volleyball? Um, um, as far as I can remember, grade, grade four. Okay, grade four ako. Oh yeah. College na ako. Yeah. Siyempre po, ano talaga, like, Unang-una, inspiration ko pa talaga si, ano, si Alisa Valdez. Then, yung nag, ano, yung rivalry. Uh, Grabe yun. Hindi na pa nga rin niya sinasabi <laughs> yun. Tutok na tutok yun. Tutok na tutok kami noon. Sabi ko, Grabe, Lasal. So, I'm from Lasal School din po. So, uh, ano? Para, so, animo ka. Yeah. So, <laughs> animo, pwede naman siya ngayon. Yeah, Kanina yes. nga, ano, oh, ano nito joke oh. siya eh. Animo San Beda, <laughs> animo Lasal. So, sa Ateneo Lasal, you were cheering for Mika. <laughs> okay lang. Nasa din ako ha. Okay pero, lang, Angel. Pero grabe. Pero, <laughs> okay lang talaga. Ayaw kasi sabi na panway ko na ko eh. Kasi from, I'm from Lasal, tapos nagpaporta ko sa Ateneo. Pero grabe talaga yun. Kasi pumunta kayo sa amin po. Ah, Kina mo, oh. pumunta pa kami sa inyo. Wow. <laughs> This is an episode of reunion. <laughs> Yung 10th okay. year anniversary ng school namin. Pumunta okay. kayo doon. Oh. Sabi sa inyo. <laughs> Alam mo, Anton, sabi mo ang reunion. Sa inyong mga magandang masama natin sa Game On podcast natin. Yung mga, yung mga ganitong conversations na, I mean, new generation of players na ina-idolize and then now, nakocover na si Game. Alain mo, grade 4, pinapanood ni Angel mm -hmm. si Mika in college. Siguro kayo, by that time, working na. <laughs> yes, I was working. I was the one probably You're covering, covering the game. Ako yung commentator kasi at Ateneo Lasal eh. Diba? So ngayon, first time small world, Mika, small yes, world. it's a small world and we all All come together here on Game On. Angel, what can uh, we expect pa from San Beda? And like, would you like to see Mika again cover your game? <laughs> oh, feel ko lakas. Oh, ako lang mag-cover. Ati Mika, ito teams niyo. Oh, sure, it's a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ito, ito, isa pa. So I was asking Mika na, sino yung naalala mo pag nakikita mo si Angel Habakon on the court? Sabi niya, Sid Demesilio daw. Yeah, kilala mo siya. Yeah. Naalala mo siya, yes. So, ikaw naman. Wow. So aside from... Ate Eliza, do you pattern your game with with anybody? Uh, for now, I'm looking up to CC Rondina mm. because the the ano the jump is so very 
Okay, guys, since this is your first time on the show, we want to teach you how we do the extra. So we turn our fingers like this and point to the camera when we do our final goodbye sa lahat ng mga manonood. So for Mika Reyes, for Angel Habacon, and Coach Hammer Martin Antonio, ako po si Anton Rojas para sa inyong paboritong sports and entertainment show. This is Game, Game On! <laughs> That's okay. First time. <laughs>